Good afternoon. Hoping you're having a good show. Uh, we're having a hell of a show here in Axiado. Uh, we are a startup company. We have been in business for a few years. We're based in San Jose. We're almost 100 people plus today. And uh, it's been a, a great show for us. We've had our first product sampling since March. We big, made a big announcement in Computex in May. And since March, we've been burning the midnight oil, trying to get the silicon up to speed with multiple partners, building a strong ecosystem around that, and build multiple DCSCM modules that are based on OCP and what OCP is driving. So this is what I'm going to talk to you about today in our journey and where we are. We, uh, just a little bit of an introduction. Uh, we are focused on platform security, right? So we're very low level hardware, firmware level security and management. And if we look at security as a world today, it's gone through a significant, you know, titanic change. And, uh, you know, from the old world of VPN and perimeter security to zero trust security uh, to what we call PFR today. Now, all of these elements, we felt like they're missing a couple of things. One, they're, one is they're very focused on the data plane. It's not so much focused on the control and management plane, right? So that's a key area that we've been focused on. And then number two is a lot of focus on the software side of things. And I think the hardware side was left off. And that's where we thought we'd focus more to augment the software investment today in security with some hardware. Ransomware has been the focus for us, right? So this is a very hot area in cybersecurity. Um, if you look at ransomware today, multiple thousand attempts take place per day to try to get into the system. Many of them not successful, but once the bad actor gets into the system, it's a three to four million dollar average cost to you, right? So we've been very focused on the area of ransomware, and what we're focused is somehow the bad actor will get into the system, right? It's a human element, it's stealing credentials, it's phishing attacks, something will happen. What we're trying to do is fortify the last line of attack, and right? that's where we're focused, right? Make sure that the root of trust on the hardware side is as protected as possible, because what, that's what the actor is gonna try to do, control the BMC of this, system, control the root of trust of the system and take over. We looked at the market and, and the applications and we saw multiple areas where more focus is needed. Right? So one area, for example, is forensics. When a ran once a ransomware attack happens, it's very meticulous how the actor gets in and out of the system, but it's very hard to track. In fact, there's no uh, there's no forensics, there's no fingerprints of how that actor got into the system and out of the system. That's a huge problem, right? That means the bad actor might come in tomorrow, next year, six months from now. Another area is, this is a lot of multi-discrete elements have been used as a foundation here, right? There's a BMC function, there's a PFR function, right? There's a TPM on the system. Because of this, it's very complex firmware that needs to be qualified and verified together. Right? And that's why, in many cases, the attack is well known, but nobody bothers to fix it because of the complexity of fixing a, or providing a qualified system for multiple chips that created that. Right? So that's a delayed patching or sometimes never patching happening for an existing problem. So that's one vector. Another vector is what's taking place in how people design systems today, right? Cloud makers want their systems to be efficient, scalable, and that's what OCP has been enabling, right? They've been trying to decouple the motherboard, the CPU and the memory from everything else. So management and security should not belong on the motherboard. It should be on a separate module. And that's, the focus behind abstracting management and security out of the motherboard in what we call the DCSCM module. Right? This is a big part of DCMHS. And that's been effectively the focus of the company. We want to build a single chip SOC implementation of that DCSCM module. And that's what we achieved with sampling in March and the enablement we're doing today. We call that the TCU, 
right? Just like there's a DPU for the data plane, we feel like there has to be something e equivalent to that on the control and management side. We call that trusted control unit, TCU. We launched our modules. We have our modules in our booth in the other side of the show floor. We'd love to show that to you. OCP has focused on horizontal form factors. That's the form factor you see in the middle bottom there. Um, there's presentations by Cloudflare and Lenovo, something called Argus, which drove the definition of the horizontal form factor. What we really thought was really interesting to do is focus on the vertical form factor. Right, so the vertical form factor with a single chip SOC implementation, we can be the only one U implementation of a DCSCM, right? which, which is very, very prevalent today. Even though processors continue to get hotter and hotter, there has to be a way to cool those things down. And one U will continue to be a very prevalent form factor. And that's why we build two versions, one with an FPGA and one without the FPGA. So there's two one U form factor vertical cards we created. The one, without, the one with the FPGA got approved this week by OCP. So you can go to an OCP website and download the, uh, the design of the uh, one U card that we've created and we're putting out in contribution to the community. What's also cool is we build reference kits. Reference kits are built on these DCSCM modules. Right? So you can start developing the DNA of the server, security and management, well before your HPM is designed. Right? So you can start early on. Once the HPM is designed with the AMD or the, the Intel processor, the same exact card that you use to develop the software can now be plugged into the system directly. This is just to show you a comparison to how a card that we built would compare to how, how the merchant market card looks like today. So you see it's the same, same exact connector, the DCSCM form factor. It's a fraction of the size of what you would get today because of the multi-chip solution going to a single chip solution. So it's not only a physical advantage, you know, uh, real estate, power dissipation, but also the, what we call the attack surface. Right? Before you could attack multiple parts, now there's only one fortified element that you can't really get access to, both hardware and software. It's a lot tougher to get into that system versus a multi-chip solution. So you're saying, well, this is, this is a basic single chip integration silicon exercise. That's what we're doing. But far from it, we really thought we should redo the entire concept from scratch, right? So we, did, we built a brand new SOC with five key elements built behind it, right? One is forensics, ability to track the bad actors and signatures. Number two is anomaly detection. I'll talk about adding AI as a new twist to the DCSCM module. Number three is isolation, right? So if you have one TCU being attacked, it can communicate to the other TCUs and it'll isolate the bad actor from the rest of the system. Key management, ownership provisioning, right? You gotta think about the life cycle of a system, right? not only from start to finish, but a server may be sold into multiple owners through the life cycle. So who owns the keys? How do you do the key exchanges, the provisioning and decommissioning of these keys, right? So we really thought through how you do that from the, from, the, from the ground up. And then last one is resiliency. If you do go down, how quickly can you bring the system up? That is the basic TCU architecture that we built up, right? So it's really built to be a single chip implementation for a DCSCM, right? All the security and control functions of a server blade moving into a single SOC. It'll support multiple nodes, right? So we optimize this to support two nodes, two CPUs, but we can support up to quad CPU nodes from that same structure. So four different regions doesn't mean that there are four different chips or four different MCMs. This is one SOC. One is the app processor. Think of it as the BMC, 
right? So this is running the Linux and the full OpenBMC stack. Secure Vault, that's where the Puff lives. That's where you're running the trusted execution environment. Man management NIC, this is a not only one gig, but 10 gig. Yes, we put 10 gig into a management port and made sure there's stateful firewall behind that. And the new element we added is secure AI, right? So this is the AI processing. This We call this intelligent DCSCM. Some parts have it. Some customers don't have it yet. They don't need it, right? But it's a new way to add value on top of the security and control management functions available today. So I mentioned a little bit about the AI. Uh, the concept here is we're not you know, trying to invent a new chat GBT. We're not trying to change how people do cybersecurity processing from a security point of view. We're trying to augment it, all of that, right? So being at the hub of a server, we see a lot of data around us. And the idea is using inferencing, we're looking for bad signatures, right? Are there common things that a bad actor is doing that the four engines we've created in this chip can inference while running the training on, a, on the cloud. So training happens in the cloud using thousands of signatures that exist today. We download that into the data lake, and we run inferencing at the sa very same time that the BMC is running, the, the same time as the root of trust is running. Right? So this is all running as a second vector to everything we're doing out there. There's obviously tons of software and firmware that needs to be developed. Uh, you know, half the company, more than half the company, are software engineers today. And when we, when we did this from the ground up, we thought the pieces that touch the hardware, we have to do, and we have to do that in a modular fashion. We don't know where the ODM, OEM, or CSP wants to plug into the system, so we can build the entire stack if we need to, but different customers might plug in differently into our system. At the same time, we're working with the existing players, right? AMI, Inside, just two examples of well-established companies that have done firmware, BMC, for 20, 30 years. On the show floor, we have a couple of interesting demos. We have one in the Experience Center in the back where we have Calyptra. So Calyptra is a silicon root of trust. We've added Calyptra into the, into the architecture of this SOC. We worked with Tyan and AMD. So there's an AMD Genoa where we're authenticating the silicon root of trust that exists on the, uh, in the SOC. And we have that running today in the back. We'd love to show that to you. And then our booth, we have multiple demos with the who's who, Gigabyte, we win building a Yosemite Valley 3.0 just to showcase what we can do with the solution. And then interestingly enough, top the rack switches, they need the same level of security and management that we have today on the server blade. Right? So we're working with a company called Sanao to offer that, and we have that running in our booth. So summarizing, still a lot of work ahead of us, but we, we're pretty excited, we're very proud of where, what we've gotten to as a startup company. Uh, we view OCP as a big enabler for us and, and bringing this new technology to market. And you know, it's a lot of work ahead of us still with the OEMs, ODMs, and the CSPs to understand what the end requirements are and how we can translate that to the silicon and firmware of, of the architecture. OK, well, thanks for listening. And uh, any questions for me if you? <laughs> thanks. <laughs>